Hello everybody, my name is Nicole Elliott and I'm a technical analyst and private investor. And today for a change, I thought I'd look at some emerging market currencies. Um, and they're all against the US dollar. So remember, when you're doing FX, it's relative. It's neither one getting stronger or the other getting weaker. They're both doing something. Um, and this is against the background of a steady but slow trend to US dollar weakness over the last year. So my first example is the Turkish lira. Um, and it's um, quoted as lira per greenback. Um, and this one is an example of how strongman politics do not necessarily result in a strong economy or a strong currency. In fact, the lira has a good 30 year trend to weakness against the US dollar. So there's nothing new here. Um, if anything, the trend has picked up pace. And because the move has been so big, I suggest anyone using long term charts should use a logarithmic scale. On this one today, I've got a weekly uh, time frame with an Ichimoku cloud system all of which are currently suggesting that the bounce from the 50% retracement level or the rally from the 50% retracement level, whichever way you want to look at it, um, hints at another stage to lira weakness. The key thing to watch out for tomorrow being Friday is whether or not we close above that 8.5775 level, which was the previous record high touched at the beginning of the pandemic uh, as it began to hit beyond the Chinese mainland. So that's my idea on that one. So this one is weakening because if the US dollar is weakening, then this one is weakening even more. Now, a different, different tone is this second chart of mine, again, a weekly one, and it is the Indian rupee. Um, and what you can see is that it has strengthened a bit, not massively, but a bit uh, since the beginning of the pandemic, uh, when also it reached uh, its weakest ever level. Since then, it's pulled back, retracing half of the previous bout of weakness between late 2019 and the beginning of 2020. More interestingly, I'd say that it's been moving sideways. Um, since late last year, third quarter of last year, really. Uh, and not going anywhere. We're sort of holding around the 73 and a half rupee level with clear support at 72 and a half. Again, a 50% retracement. Um, I would suggest that with a bit of luck, we might continue in this vein, i.e. going nowhere fast. And I hope this is the case because the last thing this country needs is a cr currency crisis on top of everything else. I mean, it's just not fair, is it? And my third chart is again, a different continent, and it's the South African Rand. Its code is a weekly chart, and you can see the code in the top left there, Z-A-R. It comes from Zud Africa, the Afrikaans name of the, of the country. Um, and this one has made a spectacular recovery over the last year. Um, again, pulling back from its weakest ever level point at 19.34 rand per greenback. Um, and this is despite the uh, South Africa COVID variant. It, the Ichimoku chart and the trend line are suggesting that we should, the rand should get stronger still. I'm going to disagree. I'm looking out for a turning point, actually. And I think it's going to be roughly at those final Fibonacci retracement support levels uh, where we have previous history in Q3 18 and Q1 19. You can see that the currency stabilized and bounced ahead of the 13 level. A weekly close above the trend line suggests a turn in trend. Let's look out for that one. Thanks, everybody. And I'll see you next week. Good luck.